I mean, I mean, I mean, okay, fine. I understand if you want to play it out for the retake, that's fine by me. But at least show some sort of a response on the side. Show some sort of oh. a power so that global esports are also going to think twice before entering. Now, Dude. they've got easy estate over towards short positions, you see. Yeah, global aren't thinking twice. But look at skills. Look at the way he just enters. They have no intention of backing down. Global esports are like, if we think of an avenue, we're going to attack. And look at Rossi. He oh. dashes away. And he gets the fourth kill as well onto Savage Yoda. Okay, yeah, just it's just Rossi stuff. I mean, nothing much to say. And his nemesis is waiting for him over towards the attacker side of spawn, and that battle feet. is gonna start right about now. I mean, not even a battle anymore. It's just a, just a quick tap to the face. BSK Rossi further pushing it over towards the defender side of spawn. Burn on the other hand takes down Rossi. Pepe with the frag on towards lightning fast. Crisp clean lock to the face, and Savage Yoda is gonna be the one to fight Hell Ranger. This might just be the round where the side of DSH are going to get there first on the board. Kappa, the clutch minister for the side of Global Esports, he has to come clutch here. So become the clutch part that we all love him. Ooh, love him for it, San Diego. He does. Clutch part comes alive, ladies and gentlemen. Any, like any bit of action, I know plenty of people should go watching the previous round, previous match, and right now they're watching Rossi absolutely get these double kills and destroy the two members of Agile and push even further, looking for a third, which he won't find a scarce for you. He gets the frag, but Agile are only down to Fefe and Kappa with the Odin. Okay, he finishes things off, and Global Esports they take this map and they take the win 13 to 3.